Okay, so I'm back. I had a bit of a break and I've had a bit of a look around for some items that I want for today. So today is actually, the page is actually um, the 25th and I'm working on this uh, Christmas morning before I go out to my parents' place. So I just want to quickly do 25 and 26 and then I can um, finish it up on Boxing Day. So that's what I have for this so far. So let's glue that down. We're back in a moment. Okay, cool. I've uh, done that. I'll come back and maybe do some more um, stickers and things. Um, I put the gold edge around, and then of course I can't really touch it, so I can't really press it down. So and I did a boo boo. I did a boo boo. I splashed the gold everywhere. But anyway, that's okay. Oh look, we're just gonna um, touch it up a little bit. Or oh, maybe not with that brush though. Imagine I'll just get it everywhere. Just touch up that edge there. I messed up. And I put gold all around the edge of this as well. And, um, oh, let's do the star. Oh, that's already pretty shiny, isn't it? Oh, let's leave it. Mm, yeah, that's already got gold flake on it. So, yeah, okay, that's, that's done. <laughs> Nice and easy. Oh, we might just do the edge. Should we do the edge? We'll do it with the brush. Once you start using gold, it's like, oh, yeah, I've got to have more gold. It's going to take a minute, so I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, so the next one, I've got this bit of something that came from Daphne's diary, so I'm just going to glue that down there. Thought it was nice and red and Christmassy. But happy Christmas. Uh, oh, okay, at least I'm doing it with glue stick so I can change it. I've got this little piece that's going up. Let me put it on here. And I've got this little girl. So, where is this going? Oh, maybe that's going underneath it. It's going to go up there, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's use this glue. And I've got this little thing here that I can put, I'm going to put in here, I think. I'm just going to have it going over the edge a little bit. It's got writing on the back, so it should be okay. I just want to keep the words. May Christmas bring the joy and love and a happy... I'm trying to get the words to come out with the and part. There we go. Up there and there. Go a bit further. There we go. Okay, a little sort of a tab thing. So it looks okay on the other side as well. And got a little bit of gold on the dress. It's okay. All right, so that's the two, 25th and 26th. I'm going to do the numbers for all the ones I haven't finished, and I shall be back with the, with the final view of what we've got so far. But I might just say the gold. It's quite nice, isn't it? Going to do the 26 and then pack up and go to um, mum and dad's. So, um, I know that you won't get this on Christmas Day, but I hope you have 
and had a lovely Christmas and uh, we'll see you just after Christmas, maybe Boxing Day or the day after. Have a lovely time, stay safe, be happy and see you soon. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm back. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas. We had a pretty good Christmas too. It was really nice. We had um, lots of yummy food. Probably way too much food because a couple of people couldn't come because of COVID. <laughs> so we had a few less around the table. Um, but um, we managed to have a good day, especially after I remembered, well, after my sister reminded me that I was meant to be cooking the turkey <laughs> at 3.30. My sister said, how's the turkey doing? <laughs> oh my God, it's still in the fridge. Can you imagine? It's your job to cook the turkey and you forget. <laughs> <laughs> it's not usually my job, so that's my excuse. Anyway, um, being that it was a turkey roll, not a full turkey, um, disaster was averted and we managed to get it all cooked. <laughs> oh dear, yes. Um, yeah, so the previous video, you, you'll see that I've done up to 26, so I'm just going to carry on. I'm just going to splash some gold on this page. I might just go around the edge of the page with what's left over. I might find a sentiment to stick on that. Even though there's nothing wrong with the text, but maybe sentiment would be nice. Uh, should I do the pink one as well? Probably. Get the page ready and I'll dry it off before I stick things down. Then we've only got the last page to do, so it's going to turn the last page into basically Happy New Year sentiments. Um, so it might not be a, a 30 and a 31. We'll see whether I put all the numbers on or not. This one's 27, 28. So the next one's going to be 29. And then the last page will be 30, 31 combined. <laughs> last year I didn't quite finish the book. So I just thought, oh, I should really make an attempt to actually finish the book. So when people look at it, they don't get to blank pages at the end. I took what I'd done so far to Christmas and showed people. We did Secret Santa. I got a clock, which I need for my room. We did the steely one, so I stole it from my nephew. And then my dad stole it from me. And then I convinced dad to give it back. <laughs> I gave him a... A little bird that was um, I swapped in with a little bird that was a plant pot but I had to previously swap something else I'd got to get the plant pot that somebody else didn't want so it's quite um the swapping thing is quite yeah you have to really quite um, plan out how you can do your swaps so it was fun I we enjoyed it we played games in the afternoon and, uh, and then we um, managed to get dinner organized Okay, anyway, so back to this. So what I've got for this is I've got these stickers. Um, there's like a set of them. Purple, blue. And then there's this greeny colour one. So I'm thinking about having these here on the page. I thought it sort of matched this pattern that's on there. It's quite simple. This is just elements. I keep saying it, but there's nothing complicated. Please don't expect that this is going to be anything tricky. Because it's not... <laughs> it's just basically finding elements in my stash and putting them on the page in an aesthetically pleasing way and then when the end result is you know it looks quite nice as a, a combined effort so that's what I'm doing for that page so let me stick those down and I'll come back so I've just got those some more of those um, I couldn't find any sentiments that were the right way up um, for that space. So I'm just going to add some more of these little doodle-lackies. I don't like that the big lump at the bottom. I can cut that off a bit. And put in the little cherries or whatever they are. Do blackies. What would they be? Holly berries, perhaps. 
and then I've just got this happy holiday stamp and we'll do our number do it the right way around be good happy holidays and the number at the top number at the, happy holidays and number down the bottom Um, happy holidays at the top and the number down the bottom. So we're going to stamp that and we do them both at the same time. And I think we might. Or maybe I better get the number ready then. And I can put this on and then put the powder on. Happy holidays. Okay, and now we just need the number. This is. <laughs> uh, that's 25, 26, so we need 27, a 5 or a 2, I think it's a 5, sure it fits. Oh, someone's at the door. One sec. Oh, yummy. <laughs> my neighbour just, my lovely neighbour just delivered me some pavlova. <laughs> yum, yum. And I got home last night and there was a gift waiting for me at the front door. It doesn't quite fit. I'll just squish it in a little bit. And it was from my neighbour across the road who I, uh, they, they're flying, fly out, they fly up north and so they disappear for two or three weeks at a time. And so when parcels get delivered, I always go run over the road and grab them and keep them inside till they come home. So they gave me a lovely candle for a gift as a thank you. That was rather nice. Come home to that. That fits in better. All right, 27. I mean, I thought I got the wrong date, but no, I think that's right. Okay, let's just heat that up together. See how it turned out. I'll turn the sound off. There we go. That was kind of right. Happy holidays. Nice. Just very simple, very plain. Just some gold splashes and some stickers and some stamping. All right, this page, 27. Now, I don't really have much, I don't know what else to do for 27 because it's really in between Christmas and New Year. Um, so our decorations are still up. So I'm just going to do the, the, the room, which again, we've got a chair just like that. My um, granddad's chair, my dad's dad's chair, identical. And the fireplace, well, we don't have a fire, but you know, fireplace, we have a mantelpiece. The stockings are up. We don't have a tree very often well no we don't have a tree at the moment but anyway yep looks like my parents fireplace a little bit so I'm just going to put that there nothing special just stick that on and I made this this was from a card I put the gold edging I just cut half circles out you know use the circle punch to cut the corners out and we're just going to have that season's greetings which to me sort of leads towards new year and so that's that page. I'll be back when I've glued it down. I don't know where the number's going to go, though. There's corner, I think. 28. Yep, looks like it. Back in a minute. So there we go. 27 and 28 done. Very simple again. I keep saying it, I know. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's very effective. Um, yep. All shiny and gold. Very pretty. So we've got 29 and 30. Hmm. Well... 30, 31, kind of, and pink again. <laughs> so let's see what we've got. Um, I did have some things out. Right down the bottom. These are some of the choices. I've got Season's Greetings, but that's in red, so uh, no. Got a white one. What I really need is a Happy New Year. Music and laugh. Music of Christmas is laughter. The warmth of Christmas is friendship, and the spirit of Christmas is love. But we kind of passed Christmas now, so maybe not that one got this one which came from Daphne's diary 
I like that. And we've got this one, Happy New Year. So I might have that one last. That one says Happy New Year as well. Maybe we don't need Season's Greetings. So I don't know what else to put for this. Oh, we've got this one. We wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But you don't do Merry Christmas after it's over, do you? I might cut off the yellow this time. I don't really like the yellow on this one with the pink. Let's make it a bit smaller. Maybe I should make it into a tag. I only picked this one because you have Happy New Year. That's not working. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, this is okay. Hmm. I might have to go a hunting. Oh, I've got an angel. The angels come at Christmas, at New Year. What do they do? I guess I don't think they have time off, do they? What does that say? Not in English, so that's okay. Well, I'll be back and I'll cut these out. We'll see which ones we like. Okay, I've got a few ideas <laughs> happening here. I've got these angels. Not too sure which one I like best. I've got two angels possibly going on there. I've got this Christmas card, which I just like because of the pink borders. It's going to go somewhere. I've got this bell with the bird with New Year. I just need it to be stand out a bit more. So I'm going to put some on this card and cut it out. That's okay because it'll be on the last page. And I found some stamps I've never used. Might I might have this one. Might stamp that it's like they're waving goodbye for Christmas, like it's the end of the book. At the moment, I'm heading towards um, an angel. Yeah, I think the taller angel and the bell. So I'll let me do that. I'll be back in a moment. So I did the um, the bell on the card. That turned out nice. Happy with that. And I'm going to put this little. Um, children waving on this bit of card and I'll decide if I cut it out but I need it to have a background because it's not going to work if you just put it on that so let's do that what would, I, what would I stamp that with I could actually stamp it in gold rather than embossing it let's see how that works better in black. Let's try it on here first. Hmm, well, that'd be right. Very fine. Hmm. Bit too fine. Okay, so I might see if I can now emboss it instead which might be tricky we'll see okay well, i'm just going to pad that up a bit because i just want the let's see if i can get it lined up Close enough, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> Hard to tell. It's back on. Okay, just put it straight back in the in the bottle. Okay, let's emboss that, see if that worked. I think it's quite cute. Too sure what I'm going to do with it exactly. <laughs> now originally I was going to cut it out and put it up there. That's going to cover that up anyway. I might just do that. Um, should I put it on a tag and have a tag coming at the top. Yeah, maybe. And that's just going to have that there now. Just, so then I can just put the number there. Thirty. I'll put 30 there, no, 
29 there and um, 30, 31 or something up there. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that. Well, let's just see. Let's do this page first because I'm just going to do that. That's just easy. <laughs> All for easy this year, aren't I? Nothing too complicated. Using up your stash, making a pretty book. Recycling things. So, you know, everybody else probably just throws their cards away in the bin. We get to make a book and use them in a book. Season's greetings at the top. Not too close to the middle, it's hard to get it to stick on the page and it's not quite dry so I can't really stick that down. I'll have to come back and do that edge. Um, I just need to outline her. I did the other one, I didn't do this one. I just do it with the black texture, it's easier than trying to get the ink pad in there. Okay, so we've done 29. Another simple one. <laughs> okay, 30 is almost done. I've got my little bell. It's going to go down there. And I've got this. It's going to be a tag. Maybe I'll have a tuck tag. So I just need to make that into a tag. Do I want to put it on the same backing? I feel like it's a waste to put it on a card, but... No, it's going to be a tag, so we have to, don't we? So we're just going to mark where I'm going to cut it. Yeah. And there, I'm going to cut it on my chopping board because I'll never be able to cut that straight. Back in a moment. Okay, so I've made the I've made the little tag. Got to find some um, fabric or ribbon for that for next. But I found this stamp, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I don't want Merry Christmas. So I've taped up the Merry Christmas part. And I'm going to stamp Happy New Year on here. And emboss it. I'm going to have to make it up, put it on a card and put it on top of it. Hmm. Okay. I've <laughs> got some more of this paper. So I'll stamp it on here, on this blue, and um, then cut it out, put it on. Which won't be as good, but what I might do is put a little gold border on it to make it look deliberate. Okay. So I've just got some gold ribbon I'm going to put in here. Well, it's not really ribbon, it's actually just, you know, kind of fake ribbon. <laughs> but it would nice, be a bit flatter than it was just here. So I'll just use this. It doesn't have to be fabric ribbon. Yeah, that might look better. Mm, don't like that. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, like that way better. <laughs> um, there we go. Going in there. Happy New Year. Now I just need my number. Well, maybe we can put 30 on here and 31 on there. That'll work. Let's do that. All right. I can't make 30. Here we go. That way. 
Okay, back in. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh, goodness. The last tiny bit of the card of the book and it's... <laughs> right there, I think. Yes. 30. All right, and we have 30. <laughs> Cute. And now we do 31. I knew there was a one. Couldn't find it before. Bit of powder. On the bell, I think. We go skewer. Yeah, we'll go with the bell. All right, so that's uh, 29, 30 with the tag, and 31. So I'm now just going to go through the pages and um, have a look and see if there's any other little things I can stamp or stick on. So let's have a look through. So we're back to number one. Got this ho ho ho. Put that down the bottom. Cut some off. We'll see. It's not ho ho ho. It's presents. So what I'm saying. Well, why not? It brings in that gold over here. So I don't know if it's a peel off one. No, it is. No, it's not sticky. That's all right, we can stick it. <laughs> um, could try doing that too. Get a bit of extra help. Let's see how we go. All right. <laughs> Quite like that addition. Um, See if there's something we can just put up in that corner. Um, got another one of those, same one. Got the lantern, got the blue one. No. Well, what about the little? Uh, what's it called? The little um, guy. Nutcracker. Here we go. Let's put him in here. Yeah. That looks cute. And there's a little one in there too. So that's one and two. I'm happy with that. That's just giving it a little bit more oomph on the first opening page. Okay, number two. No, sorry. Number three and four is pink. Um, maybe we just might want to have some ribbon and uh, hole on the tag. So it looks like a tag. And ribbon. It's pink. Got this one, it's a bit pale. This one. Ribbon coming out. Actually, this is actually silver. No, we'll go back to that silver one. This one. Mm, this one. And one on this side somewhere. There. Happy with that? Three and four. So five and six. Need anything else? Has it got enough on there? I think it's got enough on there, hasn't it? But I think it needs stickers. It looks nice with the paper version. Seven and eight. I like that down there. Just extend that little decoration so it comes down. It's a bit skewy, but perfect. I like that. <laughs> 
Okay. All right, nine and ten. I think I already did extras on this one. So I think that's got enough. Eleven and twelve. Mm. I did do all the extra stickers. Ah, oh, I know. Mum said when she looked at it, it says do not open to Christmas, so it needs something inside. <laughs> um, otherwise, there's no reason to open it. That's totally true. So, what doth we put in here? I'm going to have to pause and come back for that one. I think. I think I might have had it the wrong way around. Anyway, I don't know if I was on camera or not, so I'll do it again. <laughs> Found the Merry Christmas in that in the um, from these stickers to go on the front. It's got like a kind of a tag. Um, um, do not open till Christmas. And then I'm going to put this in, but I'm going to cover the white with this thin um, wrapping paper and find a piece big enough, I'm sure I can. And then put those in, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting the pauses in the wrong place. <laughs> so it's done now. I've got the Merry Christmas at the bottom. I don't think that's the third time I've told you, but anyway, there we go. And we've got inside, we've got Christmas wrapping paper on the back of the card. I believe Santa and his Santa sock. So I believe in Santa because here's my Santa sock full of presents. There we go. 11 and 12 done. Okay. 13 and 14. Um, no, I'm pretty happy with that the way it is. 15 and 16. I didn't want something in every corner, but it does feel like it's a bit bare up there, but I think I'd be fair. I don't like the idea of. So I'm just going to leave that. Um, just going to put some glue down here. Try and encourage this to stay flat. Okay, that's a bit better. Let it snow. I've done a silver 17 on that side because of the writing. I didn't think of that. But no, I think we've got enough on there. 1920 is pretty busy. So I might leave that one. 2021, 20, no, 21, 22. It's pretty full. 23, 24 is where I decided I might try using silver. Mm, nice. Uh, 25, 26 is very nice. I'm happy with that. I don't think it needs more. 27, 28. Pretty full. And 29, 30, 31. And our tag. Happy New Year. I think that's done. Um, I'm happy with uh, how that's turned out. I think it's really pretty. It's um, bulked up quite a bit. Probably need a ribbon to hold it together. So, yes. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for... Um, continuing to support my channel even though there hasn't been much activity but I'm hoping to get back into it next year um, it won't be every day or anything like that it'll be maybe once or twice a week at the most um, so yes please um, check back the channel to see what's coming up and I hope you all had a lovely day Christmas day and Boxing Day and enjoy your holidays and Happy New Year and I will see you in 2023 Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.